I'm going to be honest with you, I used to think that these little electric pumps were a bit naff because at the end of the day, any decent sleeping mat usually comes with a schnozzle bag but let's be honest, these can be a bit of a faff as well So anyway, during lockdown, I was a bit bored I took the plunge and I bought this This is the Flextail Tiny Pump, the original one and it's a good little device. The only thing I didn't like about it is the way this clips on, as your mat inflated, that would sometimes come away and then all the air would escape. So that was the only little flaw in this device. So anyway, I never really thought any more of it. Then Flextail invited me to review their new Flextail Tiny Pump times 2 and this is it here. And I must say, this is looking really good. I like it a lot. Now the features are the original pump didn't have this, it's got a light on it so you just hold it down and you may be able to see there, it's quite bright today but there's a torch there and it's got three settings up to 400 lumens which is quite bright it's not very good for a torch if you're like out navigating because it's, sorry, it's a more of a flood but also you can get optional extras and get a little can I finish this video please? can I finish this video Luna? you're moving the table, come on, down down, down, sorry that, the dog wanted attention there, where was I? Yeah, so as an added extra you can also get this little sort of lampshade mushroom type thing and that just clips in like so, so you've got that little groove there and that just slots in and then you just fold that over and then you hook that up inside your tent and you've got a lantern. So what I'll do is I've recorded some footage earlier on from a hotel room, I'll just show you that now. I'm currently in my hotel room, I've closed the blackout curtains and now I'm going to fire up the Flextail light. So that is the lowest setting, you still can't really see me yet. And then the middle setting and that there is the brightest. So that will be really good for lighting up your tent. Then you take the little lampshade off. You see there you can use it as a torch as well. Yeah. So as you can see from the clip I made earlier, it's a nice bright light, add that to it and it makes a nice lantern for your tent as well. So just a quick recap, the power button's there, you just hold that down and then you just go through the settings till it's back off again. To get the pump working, you just double click it, this end blows, that end sucks, and if you turn it off you just press it again. And then when it needs charged, that's next to the power button. And you can see there, it's USB-C, and you get the cable with it. So that is pretty much it. These are water resistant to IPX4, so that means it can get absolutely drenched, but it'll take a small rain shower or a bit of splash if you accidentally drop it. So um, that gives you a little bit of peace of mind. So what's in the box? You get a bag you get the charge cable which is USB-C and you get some accessories with it which is different attachments depending on what you're blowing up or you can use the vacuum packs as well three two one and go <laughs>
And the winner is the pump. So that now leads me to the question, do you need a flex tail tiny pump times two in your life? I would say that these are a luxury item. They're obviously not essential. I know some people prefer just to use a pump sack, but these can be a faff, particularly when it's raining and the weather's bad. With this, you just put your mat in the tent, plug it in, and then press it on and away you go. Um, this is definitely an improvement to the first generation one. Like I said before, that had a habit of coming off. This one is far more secure. So I like that. But otherwise, that is all I've got time for. Hope you find that useful. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll also put a link to this in my description with a discount code that you can use as well. Otherwise, thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.